And so we had been in rehearsals for a few days and for some odd reason I had to go to Honest Ed and what I saw wasn't the bin but the sign over the bin that said stainless steel spoons 50 cents. And I don't know what possessed me. That visit I bought 100 spoons. And the next day I went into rehearsal. I said, okay, everyone, I want you to set up for the scene. There's going to be a little surprise when you open your eyes. Run the scene and let whatever happens, happen. Well, their eyes are closed. I put out a hundred spoons. I say, and go. And they open their eyes and the whole thing transformed. And it was stunning. And I just realized, oh my God, this is not enough. I have to get a thousand. So I went back to Honest Ed's and I'd count them out 10 at a time because I knew I needed 800 more. All of a sudden, this table is filled with thousands of spoons. And the table is getting more and more filled with people. Suddenly, people are desperate to buy spoons. It's really bizarre. <laughs> and I didn't understand it. Honest Dead's is part of my history. So I grew up in this area and never sort of surrendered to living downtown until I got older. But from that moment on, I would always go to Honest Dead's and I would always go there and just, it evolved to I would buy. And of course, it was just stuff for myself. Then it was stuff to move out. And then it was stuff for my babies. And then it was stuff for the kids. And then stuff for the house. And then stuff for gifts. And I feel uh, like attached to it. When I went in a couple of days ago and I like felt like choked up. It feels sad. It is mm -hmm. very strangely. 
in denial. Thank you.